Ladies and gentlemen, it is unprecedented for any major Western government to openly take someone with something as deadly as Ebola into their country. Germany has now done it with Ebola patients, so is the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a PSYOP to create terror and to fearmonger and to bring in a greater medical tyranny, bottom line. But the issue is even old bioweapons labs that were off the U.S. coast, like uh, Plum Island, infected the United States with weaponized tick-borne uh, syphilis that the public knows as Lyme's disease. It's in the syphilis family on record. And that's where it came from, that, zio that, that zoological bioweapons lab. So the point is, this stuff can and will get out. But now, they're just bringing it directly to a hospital, and I looked the hospital up. It's got level two containment, where they have a special wing. Level four is what bioweapon hazards like Ebola are supposed to be in, underground, with minefields around it, machine gun nest. If it gets out inside the facility, they hit a button, and the place burns down. Huge canisters of, 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 of natural gas are released, like torches, and everything is burned to the ground. Okay? It's supposed to be underground. Now, this, this is about a government and a political system that doesn't care about the people as well, that are flirting with disaster. You've all seen the headlines about a FedEx truck crashing, and it had weaponized flu on it that kills over 90% of people that come in contact with it seven years ago. Uh, you see headlines where universities in the U.S. and Europe release the ingredients list on how to produce airborne mouse pox for humans that kills 97 to 98 percent of people, even worse than Ebola that kills about 91 percent. So again, why are the elites suddenly just putting the uh, designs for stuff like this out on the internet? They want plausible deniability down the road when the eugenicists, the globalists, carry out a 12 monkeys type scenario. And they're on record talking about that. Dr. Eric Bianca right here in UT in Austin talks about how they need airborne Ebola to kill 90% of the world's population to save the earth. So that's clearly what's happening. But regardless of why they're doing it, this is endangering the public. This is in precedent setting and they never acted like this or did this before. So you've got to ask yourself, why is that happening? Let's look at these headlines. Ebola patient walks into Atlanta hospital, CNN. American physician with Ebola virus arrives in Atlanta for treatment. What's it really all about? Well, this story we put out last week went viral. You'd think mainstream media would want to point it out. Obama signed an executive order to disappear American citizens if you even have a cough and to basically lock you up in a prison. So they're using this to set the precedent for medical tyranny. That's, that's one of the reasons. Here's another one. Possible evacuation of Americans infected with Ebola triggers fears in U.S. Okay? And that's breaking down our report. They mention Infowars.com in this report posted on the Fox site. If Ebola hits U.S., even healthy Americans will be quarantined. Well, persons who do not show symptoms would be forcibly detained. Again, ladies and gentlemen, our southern border is wide open right now, but we're being told that that's okay, and they're releasing sick people. But the American people themselves can be secretly locked up and disappeared. This is all about a power grab, all about a psyop of the Ebola to set up the medical tyranny state. We'll report on all this tomorrow on the Sunday uh, transmission, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. Follow us on Twitter at Real Alex Jones. And finally, this is all about the insanity of a system that's getting more and more reckless. 90 plus percent of the reactors are now leaking. No one even cares about that. It, it's an elite that's so decadent they could care less. So it's more than just fear mongering. It's also part of their nihilistic disconnection with reality, thinking they're invincible. Pride goeth before a fall. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com.